So if you just install Open Media Vault 6 and install OMB Extras to install Portainer only to be greeted by an error. Stick around as I will show you how to fix this. Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a new YouTube channel, The Rob with Tech. Um, I'm be introducing Open Media Vault. It is usually used for network test storage, but I use it to run Docker and run some containers. So I'll, I'll be showing you how to create a network chair, how to install Docker, and also install Pertainer. So if you go find Open Media Vault, you go to this website, do the download, and then just click the stable. I won't be doing this since I already downloaded the ISO. So let me jump on to show you how to install it. So I already burned the ISO file. I mean, I'm doing it on VirtualBox, so I already attached it. So here I'm just gonna do English, United States for me. For me. You shouldn't use this password, you should use a secure password, but since it's a demo, I'm just gonna use that for simplicity. Time zone. So here it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna install it? So I'm gonna do the 10 gigabyte drive. So that's the one that I wanted, the main drive. I'm gonna pause it here so we can skip. It's finishing up. Okay, here is for the updates. So I'm in the United States, I'm gonna do the default. I don't have a proxy, so I'm just going to enter for blank. He's going to be installing the updates. Let's skip to this. Okay, so it has come. Alright, so it has restarted. So you're going to, on the top, you're going to see the IP address. You're just going to go to that IP address on a web browser. And once you do that, you're going to see this screen. The default username is admin, default password is open media vault altogether. Now we spell vault. Now here's the dashboard. You can go to settings, select all. Uh, I don't think my stats are gonna load correctly since I'm in a virtual machine. Uh, but once you install this you're gonna go to storage file systems and you have to create a file system this is where you're gonna store your shares so you're gonna do create and this is uh, the five this is an extra drive that he has the five gigabyte exe4 that will work on Macs and uh, Windows save so we'll create the file system alright make sure to mount it and then confirm apply the changes up here so here you have created the file system on that extra drive that you have attached to it so you're gonna go to share folders and these are the folders that are gonna reside on that drive so I want to do configs and I'll select that drive and let's see here We'll modify that in a little bit. That's the config, so that's fine. And then I'm gonna do data. Same one. Then we'll have to apply. Every time you make changes, you wanna apply. I'm gonna open up the settings here. When I mean, not that was highlighted and select the access control. And since I'm gonna make it as a guest, I'm gonna do read write and execute for others you don't have to do this if you create the user so after that you go to services and I'm gonna do an SMB since I have a Windows machine you can enable recycling beam if you want but I'm not gonna use that so you save this you have to apply again And then you're gonna go to shares. You're gonna add. Here's the, the folders that you're gonna share over your network. So I'm gonna do data. 
public I'm gonna do guest only so I don't have to use a user and here do you want to enable recycling bin in case you delete a file by accident it will stay in an upper level folder so that looks correct we're gonna apply the settings let me see if the network share is up now so here I just typed in the IP backslash backslash in the IP and you get the data and this is a you could create stuff in here yeah so that's working you see how it's one kilobyte so I just saved into that file we'll open it you have data so after you install this let me show you how to install docker to install docker you're gonna have to install OMV extras I'll paste those commands on the description but basically what you do you have to SSH to the machine let's see SSH you do the, the username root at the IP address for your box do yes password this is the password that you set when you created the installation so here you're gonna run this command I'll paste that in the description so you can just copy and paste directly and what this does if we go back to the browser if you go here on system you see we don't have any it doesn't have under plugins there's a tab missing OMV extras so after the command that we ran an SSL I mean SSH you're gonna go ahead and see so it already finished so all we have to do is do log off log back in Now we go to systems and we go to here at the bottom you see OMV extras. You can do Docker. Docker you can just install it like this. Okay, so Docker has finished installing. I mean we should do be a good idea to install all the updates. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so the updates have finished, so I'm just gonna go ahead and restart. And then we can install Portainer. All right, so the server is back on. So I'm gonna sign in again. Remember, this is the default password. It's uh, username admin, and then open media vault. Keep spelling vault incorrect. Now, if you want to change the password, you can just go here in the top right do change password I'm gonna put the same one I did on the console one two three four five six seven eight but keep in mind not to use that you have to use a secure password now to install pertainer you go to OMV extras I'm not sure why this popped up probably because I changed the, the password so let's go back to OMV extras so we installed docker we can see that it's installed and running so portainer you can uh, click install here but you're gonna notice that it's gonna give you an error and I'm gonna show you how to fix that it doesn't take that long so I'm just gonna leave it running you see how it says something went wrong here trying to pull and start so the way to fix this is just gonna close click portainer just remove data I mean not remove it, remove that's gonna remove everything so if you go back to portainer it's gonna be like nothing is installed and then you're gonna jump onto SSH into your server so here I'm just gonna SSH back and I'm gonna put the commands on the 
description of the video okay so I'm just gonna paste this command in here and then I'm gonna copy the other one I'm gonna do Y for this after we do this we do have to restart the server again and then we can uh, install Portainer from the GUI from the web page so do the reboot that's gonna restart it alright so the machine has restarted so I'm gonna do admin retrieve my new password there you go so you go back to system open media extras portainer and that should allow us to install this alright so the installation has finished and you can see now here on portainer it's up so to access portainer you're gonna have to do we can do open web but if you look at it you're gonna do your IP address colon 9000 and that will get you to your portainer um, this is HTTPS just in case that you can access it, HTTPS here I recommend you to use a different password I mean it's up to you but just make sure it's a complicated password for in this case I'm just gonna do one through eight then uh, I guess it's, it wants more characters so let me do another one through eight all right so we have pertainer here you have the local the containers and here you have portainer running now I can if you guys want to see more videos on how to use portainer just let me know drop it down in the comments uh, because portainer involves a lot of other configuration I mean the portainer it helps you install a lot of containers on docker uh, but if you all are interested let me know and I could create a video uh, going over you through this stuff so for now that'll be it I mean if you guys stick around thank you and um, make sure to subscribe or leave a like any questions let me know in the comments thank you